Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you guys have noticed, I'm wearing the exact same outfit that I wore in my How I Apply and Take Care of My False Lashes video. And that is because I literally just got finished filming it and I decided since I had a little bit more time, I wanted to sit down and film a haul for you guys. I've been doing a little shopping the past few weeks and I accumulated enough stuff to do a haul video so I thought it was about time since my last haul video I think was the Ricky's haul and that was almost a month ago if not more than a month ago. So I decided that I think it was time for another haul. This is a mix of Ulta, Sephora, MAC, and Drugstore, and online. So it's a whole bunch of different things in one. It's not a lot of stuff but I figured why not do a haul. I love doing hauls. I love watching hauls. So I hope you guys feel the same way. So let's get right into it. Okay, so the first product is something that I find all the time at Ulta. I don't think I know of any other place that sells these besides Ulta. I don't see many in the drugstores, but they are the Ilor Vegas Nay Lashes. As you can see, these are gone because I did use these already. This is probably the one product I've used so far in this haul that I couldn't wait for the video so as you can see they're not in there but these two are my favorite lashes I picked up like five of these and I have like I had three of these but I used them all already this was my last box so I have to go pick up more but yeah so these are my all-time favorite lashes they are gorgeous I just love the way they look they look so natural and just so perfect I honestly don't even need to put mascara on afterwards with these because they blend in with my natural lashes so well but I sometimes I do anyways just because I'm used to it but they are absolutely gorgeous they're my favorite lashes so if you're looking for lashes that look really natural and you don't really have to ruin with mascara highly recommend these these are the easy elegance and the classic charm I do want the others but my my Ulta hasn't had them in a while so I'm waiting for them to come back in stock so I can get the whole collection I think there's about three more I'm not quite sure but yeah so I picked these two up I absolutely love them okay so yeah the next product I picked up at Walgreens I'm pretty sure you could get it at Walgreens CVS um, maybe Target I think anywhere that sells clean and clear um, will have this but I got mine at Walgreens like I said and it's a clean and clear advantage acne spot treatment right here and I know Carly mentioned this in one of her videos a while ago and as you guys know I'm obsessed with Carly so I watch her videos even old ones like over and over again and I remember breaking out I break out during that certain time of the month sorry if that's a little bit too much information but we're all girls here we all understand the struggle so I break out really bad during that time of the month so I remember her saying that this doesn't only treat like acne but it treats like simple little pimples that you get like whenever so I don't have acne I was blessed to have like clear skin I don't get acne breakouts nothing like that I just get the occasional pimples like during that time of the month so I decided that since I do get a few pimples every now and then and she said it does help pimples I picked it up and yeah so I'm gonna see how this works it says 100% of people show clear skin in just one one day and it won't over dry your skin which is really good because I already have super dry skin so I can't have anything on my face that'll make it even drier because then I break out even more so I'm really glad that this won't over dry it and it says 100% of people so I'm gonna see how I like it but if Carly likes it and she swears by it I'm sure it's amazing and I will love it and it's true to its word so I picked this up I will let you guys know how I like it maybe I'll put it in my November favorites because October is already over and I will be filming my October favorites next week so look out for that and I doubt I will be using it um, in that time but I will definitely be using it in November so I'll let you guys know how I like it then so yeah pick this up okay the next thing I picked up actually I picked up two things from Mac and the first one is the soft ochre pro longwear paint pot I'm sure everyone knows what this is or has it. I'm pretty sure I was the only person in the world who didn't have it and I meant I think I mentioned in one of my other videos that I wanted to go pick it up. So I finally did. Haven't used it yet so I can't tell you how I like it but I mean I don't know why I just smelled it like it was a candle. I'm out of it today guys as you can see. But yeah so 
Um, I did swatch it at MAC because I like swatching things before I buy it and I wanted to see if it was like too dry or too sticky because I know some eye primers, they're really dry and sticky and they'll make your, I don't know, like they don't do what they're supposed to do. But everyone swears by this so I decided to try it out and when I swatched it, it seemed okay but I know it's completely different when you put it on your hand and your eye and you're blending out eyeshadow and everything. So we'll see. But I picked this up. I'll let you guys know how I like this too, even though I'm sure I'll love it, just like everybody else. Okay, and the next thing I picked up from MAC is this. I left it still in the box, finally. I think this is the only thing that I left in the box, but I did. And it's the Sculpt and Shape Powder, and it's in the colors Light Sweep and Shade Stir. I remember Jaclyn Hill um, mentioning Shade Stir in one of her videos, saying it was the best contour shade she'd ever used, or something along those lines. So I decided I wanted to pick it up, but my MAC only had the duo with the highlighter and the contour shade. It didn't have just the contour shade, and I didn't want to order it online and have to wait for it. So I just decided to pick up the duo, and it looks like this. Okay. And of course, this is the highlight shade up here on the top. And this is shades on the bottom. This is mostly the reason why I bought it. Just because of the contour shade. Even though I do love my Kat Von D shade and light contour palette, I do want to venture out a little bit. Because I feel like people might get bored of seeing me use just one product all the time. Especially if it's more of an expensive product. Because I know the shade and light palette is almost $50. And this one was only, I believe, $21 or $22. And it comes with both the highlight and the contour shade. So I wanted to start using a few different products, so that's mostly what this stuff is. Some of it's new, some of it's stuff that I loved and bought again. But I want to try this out so I can let you guys know how I like it since it is cheaper than the Kat Von D Contour Palette. Which I'm sure I'll probably still use that one religiously. I love it, it's my go-to. But it doesn't hurt in trying out new things like this. Not too dark, not too light, it's right in the middle so when you're pale it'll look really good. So I'm not a fan of the highlight shade on the top. I swatched that too. So that probably will stay just like that. Probably won't see um, pan at all because I don't really like it. But mostly just got it for the contour shade. But you guys should go swatch it anyways because you guys might like the highlight shade. I just feel like it didn't do anything for me. But maybe it depends on your skin tone. So, But I would definitely highly recommend this one. Especially if you're looking for... A cheaper alternative to the Kat Von D um, contour palette I feel like this comes close okay so the next two products I got at Sephora and like I said I wanted to venture out and try new things for you guys so I'm not using the same products over and over and over again I want to give you guys different reviews I want to give you guys different things to use stuff like that I will be doing a drugstore makeup look and also a drugstore haul very soon in the near future instead of Sephora, MAC and all that stuff and Ulta because I know they can be a little bit pricier so I will be doing like a Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid kind of drugstore haul and makeup look very soon because I like mixing it around. I like doing both Sephora, MAC like high end and I like doing drugstore also so look out for that. But yeah, so I picked up the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation, the little stick one. I've never used a stick before, nor have I ever used a powder one. So I think a powder foundation would be my next purchase since I've got liquid, I've got the stick now. All that's left is powder. So I will be trying that out. But I heard powder isn't really great for dry skin. I wouldn't know because I haven't tried it. But I will try it out and let you guys know, all you dry skin people out there like me, I'll let you guys know if it really does make it even more dry and mattifying or if it is just okay to use. So yeah, so I picked this up. I got it in the color 125 and this says equal Y315. I don't know what that means. I don't know if it's 125 then or if it's the Y315 or if it's both. But yeah, so that's what I got and it looks like this. Haven't tried it yet. I'm really excited to try it now though. I, I wanted, like I said, I wanted to film the video first before I tried anything. So I'm really excited to try it out. But I've heard a lot of good things about it. I heard this is better for dry skin people than it is for oily skin people. So you might want to take that in consideration before purchasing it. I heard the liquid version is better for oily skin and then this one is better for dry skin. So yeah. So once I heard that I had to go buy it because like, you never find really good foundations nowadays for only dry skin. So I wanted to pick this up and try it out. I will keep you guys updated on how I like it. But yeah, so I got this. 
And I also picked up, I already purchased this item. I had a mini version and I remember telling you guys I needed to go get the bigger version because I absolutely adore this powder. Like this is the best powder I've ever used. It's so amazing and it's supposed to be mattifying but it doesn't break me out. Because usually anything mattifying, foundation, powders, no matter what it is, if it has matte in it, it breaks me out, dries my skin, causes rashes, everything. This one is mattifying and it does not irritate my skin at all. It is amazing. And it's the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder in Translucent right here. So I had to pick up the bigger version. I, I remember showing you guys, I do have the little version right here, but I'm almost out. So before I completely ran out of the little one, I wanted to pick up the bigger one so that I wasn't in trouble once I ran out of the little one and I didn't have another one to go to. So yes, so this is what it looks like. And it is the translucent one because I'm pretty sure she does have another one. I'm not sure what that one's called, but I think it's also a loose setting powder. But I got the translucent one. And I got the bigger version, but you guys already know how I feel about this powder. I've raved about it in a few other videos before, so... And I think I mentioned in my September favorites also. So you guys already know how much I love this product. My next two are a purchase from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I didn't get these in a store. I had to order them online. Well, actually, I think I got one at my local Macy's because they have a whole Anastasia Beverly Hills section. Liquid lipsticks, lip glosses, eyeshadows, eyebrows, everything. And I think I did get one there and then I had to order the other one online because I was waiting, waiting, waiting for them to get this one particular particular, ugh, particular liquid lipstick in stock and they haven't in a while and they said they weren't sure when they were going to. So I decided to just order online because I have no patience. So the first one that I got in the store was Midnight, the liquid lipstick Midnight. And I know people are like, black lipstick? Like, why? And it's because I don't own black lipstick at all. I have really dark shades, but none even come close to this one. And I wanted to venture out of my comfort zone. And I know I would never wear black before, but I bought it anyways because I feel like if I see it there, I'll want to wear it. And then I'll venture out of my comfort zone and I'll end up loving it. I haven't tried it yet. But I think I'm going to try it next weekend. And I will take pictures and let you guys know how I like it on me. But I just wanted to be creative and get a darker color. I see everyone wearing this color and it looks amazing on them. I don't know if you can hear the little pattering on the floor. It's my dog. Sorry. Hi. Okay, so anyways. So I've seen it on other people before, like I said. Different skin tones and everything. And it looks beautiful on everyone. So hopefully it looks the same on me. I'm really excited to try it out. I love Anastasia Beverly Hills and all her products. That's all I use for my eyebrows. And lately all I've been wearing is trust issues. So I'm excited. And then the next one that this is the one I purchased online is her newest one. I was so excited. I've seen pictures of everyone wearing it. And it looks like such a festive Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's color. I don't know what it is about this color, but it screams holidays to me and that would be candy apple it's her newest shade just came out i'm pretty sure it's limited edition so i highly recommend you guys going out and getting this i haven't even worn it yet but i've swatched it and oh my gosh i can tell i can already tell you guys that in every video i do from now on from november december and january this is going to be the lip color that i am using oh my gosh let me swatch it for you guys because it's so gorgeous i can't even like i I can't. I can't describe it. It's like a rich red, but then it has shimmer in it. Like, I hope you guys can see it. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. The camera might be making it look orange. I'm not sure. But it is not orange. It's like the nicest red I have ever seen. And it has that little hint of shimmer in it, which is perfect for the holidays. Because even though I love the complete matte lip, that little bit of shimmer just gives it like a cool look. So yeah, so that's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Candy Apple. And even in the bottle, I wish you guys can see it and I wish the camera could pick it up. But even in the bottle, you see that hint of shimmer. And it's still matte. Like, it is matte. This is going to dry matte in like five, less than five minutes. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to use this. Like, I've seen it on so many people and it's so gorgeous that I knew I had to get it. I just, gorgeous. The last thing for my haul is of course the Morphe 350 palette. Oh, you guys, let me tell you. They said it was coming out at 1 o'clock Eastern time. I purchased, this was 
purchased and I had a confirmation email already by 101. That's how serious I was about getting it this time. Like, guys, next when it comes back in stock, you guys, ugh, look. Look at this. This is going to be my most used palette. I don't know. It's just gorgeous. I know it's more of a fall palette, but you could do so much with this colors even in the summertime. Oh my gosh. And I did use this color and this color today for the look I have on right now. So again, this is another product I did use, but whatever. Um, I literally just got it a few days ago. Oh my gosh, I'm so in love with it. I'm so happy, and I can't wait to do a look for you guys using this palette, but I will not do a look with this palette using it yet until it does go back in stock. And I'm not quite sure when that is yet. They haven't announced it on the website yet. They just said we'll be back soon. So I'm going to wait until I see on the website that it says back in stock, and then I will do a tutorial using this because I'm not quite sure how many people got it the second time when I went back in stock. I don't think it was a lot because they said they didn't have many. So I feel like it would be unfair for me to do, do a tutorial with this, not knowing if everyone has it yet. Because I know when people were doing tutorials with it, like a few months ago during the summer and I didn't have it, I was so upset. Highly recommend you guys getting your hands on this. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to do a tutorial on it. It's going to be so much fun. Guys, so that was it for my little mini haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I was going to add in some Bath and Body Works candles I recently just picked up, but they are from the Christmas and Winter um, selection. So I decided to wait for my next haul to do it. I'm thinking about doing just a Bath and Body Works Christmas haul, um, probably around Thanksgiving. So look out for that. I know it's a month away, but I'm really excited for it because they got some new scents in and they smell so good and I can't wait to show you guys. But yeah, I'm going to make sure not to use them until I do the video. So they're put away. I'm going to finish all my fall candles first before bringing out the Christmas ones. So yeah. But besides that, that's it. That's all I got. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys saw some things that you want to pick up. If you can think of anything that you want me to try out and maybe review or use in my tutorials, please leave it down in the comments below, and I'll love to pick them up and check them out. I love hearing what you guys want me to test out and what you guys want to see. So if you guys have any other tutorials you guys want to see, don't forget to let me know either in the comments or on my social media. I love hearing from you guys. So yeah, so that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.